G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a very interesting sort of algebra and number sense type question for high schoolers. It goes as follows. The two digits in Jack's age are the same as the digits of Bill's age, but in reverse order. In five years, Jack will be twice as old as Bill will be then. What is the difference of their current ages? Okay, so this feels like you know, one of those magazine puzzle type things, but if we can work it out, let's do it. So Jack has a two digit age. So Jack's age is something like 23 AB or something. Uh, actually, maybe be careful. When we write 23 just 23, we really mean the number, you know, two tens and three ones. This is really A tens, 10A plus B ones, B. So that's the actual number, 10A plus B. Uh, Bill's age is the same, but in reverse order, the same digits, but reverse orders. His age is BA, that's what we write, but that really means uh, B tens and A ones. So there's the actual age of the two lads. All right, then what happens? Um, Jack will be twice as old as Bill will be in five years' time. So if I add five years to this number, it'll be double Bill's age in five years' time, adding five to this number. All right, so 10A plus B plus an additional five years is double Bill's age in five years. 10B plus A plus five. All right, um, just feels compelling to expand this out, so I might as well do that. 10A plus B plus five equals 20B plus 2A plus 10. Knowing me, I probably made a mistake right there. Um, well, let's, I don't know, let's subtract 2A from both sides and 1B and five, so what's it gonna be? Uh, 8A equals 19B plus five. All right, ooh, ooh. Well, now I'm worried, actually, now I think about this. Um, the question was the difference of their current ages. This, take away that. And I guess I need to know what A and B actually are to do that, but the trouble is we've only got one equation in these two unknowns. There's not be enough to figure out what A and B actually are, is it? Hmm. Oh, oh, this is not free form algebra. We're not doing this over the, all the real numbers. These are ages. Actually, A and B are single digits. So A is either one or two or three up to nine, or actually, could it be zero? And uh, B is also a single digit, one, two, three, up to nine, maybe zero. I have to think about the zero part. Oh, brilliant, okay. So there are restrictions what type of numbers need to fit this equation. So there is hope that actually A and B, there's, there's an A and B that work for this equation amongst these single digits. Oh, in fact, I could follow a strategy here. Strategy number eight, second guess the author. So this was a, since this was a competition problem, there has to be a unique answer to the problem. Otherwise, we'll have like different kids across the nation being correct but getting different answers. So as soon as I find one answer that works, it can just be by pure trial and error. For example, try A equals two, 16 is some multiple of 19 plus five, or A equals two doesn't work. But if I just find one that works by luck, then I can say I'm done. That must be the unique answer because competition questions have to have unique answers. And that feels a little bit, little bit um, cheaty in some way. Okay, you can find the answer if speed is important, but obviously what we want to do next is prove that what we get is the unique answer. All right, so there's the challenge for you. I bet we could do it. Find the A and B amongst the single digits that work, and then prove that answer is unique, and then finish off the question, what's the difference of their ages? Sounds, sounds like a plan. Great. And when you get an answer, actually, check the answer with the essay that goes with the video. Let's compare results. Good stuff. Thanks. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.